Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the Turtle Girl, and today we are talking about decorations for your turtle tank. So this is a pretty simple um, subject. It's just there's a couple of general rules and guidelines you should be following when picking out decorations, but for the most part, you can do pretty much whatever you want and have a lot of fun just making your turtle's habitat look nice, look pleasing to you so that you can have fun watching your turtle and enjoy your tank. So, first of all, why do we even need decorations in our tank? Well, there are a couple obvious reasons, first and foremost, mostly just being that it makes it aesthetically pleasing for us so that we want to look at our turtle tank and engage with our turtle and just spend time with that tank and being able to fully enjoy it because we like how it looks. Also, it makes the tank more natural so that the turtle can have places to explore, climb around, and it is enrichment so that they can just spend time exploring their habitat instead of just sitting in a corner doing nothing in a bare tank. For certain turtles, this can also help them be able to rest and reach the surface of the water so that they don't drown trying to swim around and that so that they don't get exhausted. And finally, it's just fun to do. It is fun to decorate your turtle tank. It's fun to watch your turtle. It's fun to have a nice looking tank that you can show off to other people. So that's why we have decorations. That's why a lot of people love decorating their tanks. They're just a couple guidelines that you should follow. So first of all, you should know that inevitably your turtle will want to explore its habitat. It'll want to nose around, possibly bite things, possibly shift things around. And so just don't get too attached to the layout of your tank and just be open to letting your turtle redecorate, um, getting comfortable in its home. Second, you should know that turtles are generally pretty hardy and things that you put in the water that will affect your water chemistry, for example, some woods or some rocks, those can change the mineral content in your water, which is like the GH or KH, which is like the hardness, or things that will affect your pH, so like wood in the water will release tannins and that changes the acidity in the water. Know that those don't really affect turtles, so you don't have to worry too much about what type of um, things you put in the water, so long as it's not like changing the water chemistry to the extreme. And it's a good idea to get a test kit, um, test those things, your pH, your KH, your GH, just so that you have a general guideline. You want it to be kind of in the median area, but if it swings a little bit, it's not going to affect the turtle as much. It will affect fish, though, so if you have fish tank mates, that's just something to keep in mind, that you might want to be a little more cautious when adding um, things that will change the water chemistry, so wood and rocks. And then, last thing is that um, you want to make sure that when you're getting decorations that because your turtle will probably be nosing around and possibly biting it because turtles do like to bite things, test to see if it's edible. You want to make sure either that A, it is harmless for them to eat, like many aquatic plants are either harmless for them to eat or sometimes even healthy and nutritious for them to eat, like things like duckweed or water wisteria. And then if it is something that, like a plastic plant that is not edible, you want to make sure that it is high quality and sturdy so that your turtle, if it does try to bite it, it won't succeed in actually ingesting those pieces because if your turtle does eat a plastic or silk plant, that can be a really big problem. It can block their intestinal tract, it can um, make them not be able to eat anymore, and just all sorts of bad things. It'll make your turtle sick. You'll probably end up having to go to the vet to get it removed if your turtle can't pass it. So it's best to just maybe spend a little extra money for better quality plants that won't break than have to deal with a sick turtle and vet bills later. Remember, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So just you're better off trying to get sturdy decorations that your turtle can't eat. So now that we've covered all of that, those basic general rules and guidelines, you can decorate your turtle tank kind of pretty much however you want. If you want to have live plants in there, just try to choose some more sturdy ones and not delicate plants because turtles can sometimes rip them to shreds. Certain turtles are better with live plants than others. So, for example, if you have an herbivorous turtle like a slider or a painted turtle, they're more likely to eat your plants than, say, a more carnivorous turtle like a um, musk turtle or a mud turtle. 
So just keep in mind your species of your turtle if you want to do live plants. And some plants that you can use, even if your turtle eats them, will be fine. Um, like what, like I said earlier, water wisteria, duckweed, water lettuce, vallisneria, all of those um, are fine for turtles to consume. And the majority of live plants that you can get will be safe for turtles, even if they eat them. And some plants that are sturdier and have a better chance of surviving are like things like Anubias, Amazon swords, cryptocorns, crypts, um, java fern, java moss, all those are worth a shot. And even fast growing plants are great, like hornwort is a good plant to try. Um, just gotta do a little bit more research if you do really want to get into aquatic plants. But just try to choose either fast growing plants, if you want plants that the turtle will eat but they'll keep replenishing, and then also um, sturdier plants. And then for fake plants, like I said earlier, just make sure they're sturdy, make sure they won't fall apart. Um, and then for rocks and wood, just make sure you're using common sense. Make sure you're soaking the um, wood before. If you don't like tannins, tannins make the um, water look kind of like tea, kind of brownish. Some people like that look. I know that I don't really like my water looking muddy. Um, so if you want to get rid of the tannins, just soak it in a bucket of water before letting it release those tannins. And then once the tannins um, are almost out, then you can just put it in the tank and it'll not have as much um, brown water. And for rocks, same thing. Just soak them, boil them, maybe scrub them down just to make sure there's not dirt or anything that you don't want to be introducing into the tank. It's always a good idea to like boil rocks in wood to make sure they're clean. But generally, decorating your turtle is pretty straightforward. Just use your common sense. Um, turtles are pretty hardy just as long as they aren't able to eat the plant. I cannot stress that enough. It'll cause you so much headache, so much just stress because you're, if your turtle eats a plant. So best just to avoid that. Get good quality plants or plants that are edible. So yeah, that's all pretty much all I have to say about decorations. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions. Thank you so much to my patrons. You guys make this possible. If you'd like to support me in that way, I will have an I button somewhere around here that you can click to check it out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye!